fifth, The Hill's John Solomon and his breaking news today, and also Sarah Carter as well, who has breaking news. Uh, John, let's start, start with Bruce Orr told everybody in the FBI that mattered in August uh, of 2016 about the Steele dossier, about yeah. it was Hillary Clinton bought and paid for, unverified, uncorroborated, and not to be trusted. Now, by yeah. October, they never verified it in any way, and even in January, Comey said it was salacious and unverified. So my question is, if they knew it, and then they used it as the bulk of information to obtain the FISA warrant, McCabe said no, no dossier, no warrant, that means they knowingly, purposefully lied and committed a fraud on the court, and they knew it from day one. They knew it before they ever applied. Listen, uh, uh, Sean, if uh, the new attorney general, Bill Barr, if the existing attorney general, Matt Whitaker, if the Justice Department inspector general, if Senate Judiciary Committee chairman Lindsey Graham wants to investigate whether there was willful and knowing misleading of the FISA court, all they have to do is call Bruce Orr because Bruce Orr makes it adamantly clear. He told the FBI, I had concerns about bias. This is connected to the Clinton campaign. It's reliability is suspect. You need to do your own homework before you use it. And yet they go ahead and rush it through the FISA process. Um, we've been talking about this and we've been putting these pieces together, but this is probably the single most damning piece of evidence. It comes from the number four Justice Department official, the person that first really walks it in in a substantial way to the FBI, and he puts a word of caution on it, and those words of caution are blown past as we submit a FISA with information that was not yet corroborated. And Sarah, you also have new information tonight. Yeah, I think it's absolutely stunning, the revelations that Bruce Orr had in his testimony, Sean. Uh, one of the things that I think is stunning is that in the summer of 2016, I mean, he had briefed Andrew Weissman. I mean, this is really important. He had not only briefed Andrew Weissman, but Bruce Schwartz, who then headed the International Division of the Criminal Fraud uh, Task Force, and uh, as well as another lady by the name of Miss Ackman. Now, we know that uh, Weissman and Ms. Ahmed are both, you know, serving right now with uh, Robert Mueller. They have senior, uh, their senior officials on the special counsel investigation, and they were told by Bruce Orr that he was getting information from Christopher Steele. And apparently they were briefed on all of this information, and then they went on to serve on Mueller's team. And just as John has reported, and just as as I've reported as well, uh, they were very well aware in the FBI what was going on and that the Clinton campaign was funding this. And they were very well aware that there was bias with Fusion GPS and that that bias existed um, with Christopher Steele because Bruce Orr warned them. And then they go and they, they've been very quiet. Remember, the FBI has been very tentative about saying when they found out because we know, based on sources that both John and I have, that that in that FISA, in that FISA document, which the president should declassify, and all those other documents.